We asked you to send in your questions for Annabelle and she's very kindly offered to answer them for us. Thank you very much, Annabelle. Donna Starling would like to know um, some exciting ideas and recipes for weaning and feeding her little one who has a dairy allergy. Some of these, um, especially the hypoallergenic milks like Neocane, they taste horrible. But if you give them to your baby quite early on, they seem to love it. So it isn't that difficult because you can just substitute for cow's milk whatever your baby's substitute milk is. And although you don't think it tastes nice, they don't mind it. So that's interesting. Um, usually soya milk isn't a good substitute for cow's milk because a lot of babies that are allergic to cow's milk also allergic to soy milk. But um, if you speak to your allergy specialist, they'll give you the best milk for your baby. And I would use that in any recipes. And then of course, like chicken recipes, I mean, just use olive oil. I usually don't use butter anyway in my meat recipes. Um, Dairy-free margarines to cook with. Cheese is the one thing that, you know, sometimes is a bit of a stumbling block. And, um, you know, talking to a lot of mums, they use something called cheese leaf, which comes in different varieties. So you can get, I think, white cheddar, mozzarella, and parmesan. I mean, something can taste as good as real cheese, but it can give you a slightly little cheesy flavor. Um, Tofu is something else you can use, which has a creamy texture, which you can add as well. But basically, I think most recipes in my book can be adapted for dairy-free. And the good news is that a lot of babies will grow out of their dairy allergy by the age of two. So it's not a lifelong allergy necessarily. And Amber Poole says, how does she get her two-year-old to eat cucumber, tomatoes, mm -hmm. and peppers? Okay. Well, cucumber, most children love cucumber because they like it with very good for teething and cool it. Interesting, cucumber isn't particularly nutritious, it's like 90% water, so I wouldn't bother too much getting your child to eat cucumber, to be honest. Um, tomatoes are good for you, they contain lycopene, especially if they're cooked with some oil or butter. And, um, well, my kids love tomatoes, well, obviously they like, like spaghetti with tomato sauce. I would use tomatoes, I, I usually, sometimes you can make, I don't know how old the, if it's a baby again, I often make a puree, which is steamed carrots, and then it's fresh tomatoes, which I peel, which is quite easy, just put boiling water on them and then chop them up and I serve them with a little bit of butter and then they add some cheese. And this kind of tomato-y, cheesy sauce with the steamed carrots is delicious. You can add lots of other vegetables like cauliflower, broccoli, or some fish to it and it's a really lovely recipe. And it's not too tomato-y, but it adds that tomato flavour that they like. And peppers are something that kids sometimes really don't like and some adults don't like. They have quite a strong flavour. I mean, they are rich sort of vitamin C, but they're not the only rich sort of vitamin C. And so, if your baby's not like eating peppers, you can give them kiwi fruit or berry fruits. But again, I'd probably use peppers um, as part of a tomato sauce or as part of a bolognese and just add a little bit and try and get your child to tolerate it in small amounts to begin with. Holly Robinson, who has a one year old, says that um, her little one won't eat fish at all. So, how can she try and get the okay. K? Well, I'm really passionate about trying to get kids to eat fish at a young age because it's such a good food. And I think a lot of fish tends to be quite bland, so I make really tasty fish recipes. So one of my fish recipes is uh, goujons and fish, which are coated in crushed rice krispies and parmesan. They're absolutely delicious, and the child can pick them up with their fingers. And sometimes the way you, you can arrange them on a plate, so I arrange them as a face, and I put them two, two bowls with like a dipping sauce, I put peas in them, so it's like eyes, and then I make the face out of the fish goujons. That's quite fun, and it's not difficult to do. I make a very good um, salmon fish cake, and I flavour it with a bit of uh, sweet chilli sauce and some grated cheddar, and I have mashed potato in it, and I put the fish in uncooked, so that when you cook it, it's not going to be dry. And I have really good recipes for fish pie. And I think, you know, one of those, hopefully, her child would like, because they are so tasty. And fish is such a great food. Fantastic, lovely. Mummy Sheen.